Hey guys, I'm still feeling a bit sick, so I'm not going to be on camera today, but I wanted to show you this liquid cooler I've been using. It's the Deep Cool Gamer Storm Castle 280 RGB liquid cooler, and I'm going to be doing a review of it here today. So straight away, you can see that this is an awesome looking all-in-one liquid cooler. I mean, I really do love the look of it. The pump especially, it's just so cool, like the way it spins around and everything, I really like that. It's also really quiet, and you might think, well, what does that matter? If you've ever had an all-in-one liquid cooler with a noisy pump, you know how annoying it is, but this one is dead quiet. I never heard it, which is really good. It also has a large pure copper CPU block, which is always a good thing. Mounting it all was very simple, straightforward, pretty similar to all the other all-in-one liquid coolers I've ever used. And it can be used with Threadripper CPUs. So it comes with all the TR4 mounting bracket, which is nice. Uh, th that's good. It's something that I think we're going to see more and more going forward. Uh, but there was a distinct lack of all-in-one liquid coolers with TR4 support. So it's nice seeing this one come with it. It has the braided lines, which look good. They seem very strong as well. I had to my mount mine in the front because of clearance issues with the case. Uh, so I had to pull them quite tight, but they felt good, like it didn't feel like they were going to rip or anything like that. Uh, and that's what I always look for, because you want something that makes you feel confident that you're not going to drop water on your GPU or something like that. <laughs> now the radiator itself is the standard 280 size, so it should fit in the vast majority of your mid-tower cases and pretty much all the full tower cases. Obviously check to make sure it's going to fit yours if you have a smaller one, uh, but I would imagine this would fit in the most cases out there. The 140 millimeter RGB fans are designed for static pressure. And what that means is it's they're made to help pull or push the air through the radiator. Uh, they also come with a vibration dampening on the corners, which is nice. It helps cut down on vibration noise noises which is just like the pump can be very annoying uh, and very hard to fix so that's also good controlling the RGB is actually done through your motherboard software itself which I really like not through a sort of its own software uh, that's good I think a lot of people well quite a few people anyway would already be using this software so it means you don't have to like sort of add another one on there and Using the one, my MSI one, was just fine. I didn't have any issues with it at all. Mystic Light is very straightforward to use. So that was good. Uh, and I quite liked the way I had it looking. I used the red theme because of my Red Devil Vega 56 that I'm currently using. And it just looks super, super cool. But of course, you can do all the other color options. And there's uh, quite a few lighting settings and stuff. You guys know I'm not the hugest fan of RGB and all the craziness. Uh, but I just liked it with the red. It looked really nice. However, looks only get you so far. How about the performance? And performance-wise, it does fantastically. So I tested it with my i7 8700K, which is a very hot running CPU, especially because my one is not delitted. So I used the IDA64 stress test, and as you can see, the performance is very good. Uh, at stock, it's very low. It starts ramping up quite a bit, especially as I went up uh, through the speeds, but I need a lot of voltage from my 8700K to make it run at 5.1 and it's not that stable. So realistically, I would set it probably around five gigahertz and I'd probably be able to knock the voltage back a bit. So I would say it would be sitting at around the 80 degree mark, which is just fine for me for an 8700K, a six core CPU at five gigahertz on all six cores. So that's really good. The fan noise does ramp up a bit more once you start getting up in the higher frequencies as far as over clocking goes but if you're just using this with a cpu set it at stock speed then you'll pretty much never hear the fans unless you're maybe rendering a video or doing something like that very intensive then you'll hear them ramp up a little bit so in conclusion what do i make of the castle 280 well i think it looks awesome and the performance is great i think this would be fantastic for any enthusiast uh, I have no issues with it at all. Um, everything seemed good to me. So yeah, I can highly recommend it. This is a great all-in-one liquid cooler. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. I apologize, guys, for the lack of content lately. I've been uh, very sick. As If you follow me on Twitter, you will know. Uh, so if you want to stay updated, I'll leave a link to my Twitter uh, down below. So check that out, and then you'll know everything going on with me. I thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.